Okay, that would be the EOS M. The awesome is what it, is, what it should be called. But uh, it's a great camera, but if you don't get the black one, it's not really grippy. It's kind of slippery. This is the silver, not the uh, white one. I got this grip that goes around here. And you can just continuously add on to these things, right? Because there's like one piece here, and I could like put a grip on the other side and make a full cage that went around the camera so that you're, you know, got one of those huge like double handle things that uh, sometimes you see just for getting good, good stable shots. I guess you could just use a coin, but it just attaches like a tripod, and then you're off to the races, I guess. Oh, that feels way better. This on the grip, wow. That just. It just makes the deal. It just totally makes it look awesome. Oh, wow. I just got a wicked shot of the 300 HS. Oh, baby. Come here. Yeah. So there you have her. Another day. Another day at the barn. Just picking my bum. Actually, I gotta head off into town here pretty quick and uh, run some errands. But for now, just another morning with the horsies. And Lexus there. And that would be Africa. And good old Snowbird. Oh, back into town for a bit. Uh, I got another doctor's appointment. Just a regular old thing. Just getting, making sure the old uh, body's working and stuff. But man, he is dead today. <laughs> it's like middle of week Wednesday. There's like nobody in town. Well, I've just landed in uh, Normandy, World War II. We're ready to rock. Freaking steel boxes. Gonna take this to the basement. Never doomed. Sydney by the sea. I'm beacon to have you. Watch where you're walking. All right, I got everything. All my ducks in order. Time to go home. Now what do we have here? We got more toys. This is a nice uh, ball head, which should get some good shots, especially for low light photography. And that's the camera I've been hiding from all you guys. Uh, video is to come from this soon, because it's gonna get pro. And then I got this little thing. You can get them for like three bucks from China. It's just a remote release, so you can point it at the camera and do long exposures for night photography or just if you want to take a picture from a remote. And then this is a track track star. Yeah, it's track star. And there's the model number. And according to just about every review I've come across, this is just as good as a road, if not better. Listen to the comparisons in some of the videos. This one actually has a way more normal sound to it than uh, a lot of people have the road mics and when they talk to it, it just sounds weird. Like it almost sounds... And that should be on right now with 10 decibel boost. So what's it sound like? Better? Worse? It also has a bass boost, which is here. That would be off. Bass boost is off right now. Bass boost is on. But nice packaging. And this came from China, man. So it may have taken a while, but it's here. So this looks just a little bit more professional, if I must say so myself. Got her up there on the ball mount. As you can see, oh, what did I do? Did I just make it record? I took a picture. That's that. That's the track star. So I'm going to have to play around with this. Look how smooth that tripod is. I could really do some cool shit with this. But yes, that's the start of the rig. As you can tell, I've got the grip here. That kind of thing. And I just took another random picture because the touch screen on this I'm not really used to. And in order to take a picture, you basically just have to touch it. Anyways, moving on. And if that's the end, thanks for watching. I'm just playing around here and expect uh, some video from this big sucker. So, cheers. Mm -hmm.